Hello, and welcome to Dad's Bedtime Stories. Just a reminder to everyone, if you like the podcast at all, give me a comment, leave me a like, rate the podcast, or whatever you can do wherever you're listening. This is episode 12, The Dragon Defenders. Just sit back, close your eyes, and imagine yourself doing the things the kid in the story does. You and your friends wake up on the dinosaur planet. You leave the pod you're sleeping in and go out to meet all of your friends at the campfire pit. You all sit around the campfire as the spaceship brings you each something to eat. While you're eating breakfast, you talk about what you're going to do with the dragons you found yesterday. We could become rescuers, one of your friends says. We could, like, go around the planet and rescue people. But who would we rescue, another one of your friends says. Like, there aren't even any people on this planet. You're right, you say. There aren't people on this planet, well, other than cave people, but not really the same thing. But I know a planet where there are people. Our planet. We can't go to our planet, can we? Says your friend. Well, I think we can. I mean, there's a portal right there. But the dragons are too big to fit through the portal. I can solve that. Spaceship, make yourself into a really big dinosaur slash dragon carrying spaceship. The spaceship grows, it grows, and it grows, and it grows until it's bigger than you ever imagined it could become. It lands outside the protective fence because it's too big to fit inside the protected area. Let's go, you say to your friends. But, says one of your friends, what, we can't bring dinosaurs or dragons back to our planet. Won't people be really afraid of them? That's a good point, you say. But I think I have an idea. I have the perfect place where they can live. Where's that, your friend asks. Well, recently, I built a giant treehouse out of an alien seed from another planet. And I think it would be the perfect place to hide out when we're not saving people. You built a treehouse on top of an alien tree that you planted? Your friend asks. Yes, you say. Don't you remember? Why would I remember that? I wasn't there. Oh yeah, good point. Well, I'll show you. Anyway, follow me. You and all of your friends and all of your dragons get inside the spaceship. Now what are we going to do? Fly all the way home? No, we'll go through the portal, you say. But this is way too big to fit through the portal, one of your friends points out. It's too big right now, but it won't be when we go through. Spaceship, do the thing. The spaceship starts to shrink and shrink and shrink with you and all of the dragons and all of your friends inside it. It shrinks down until it's a perfect size to fit right through the portal. But you shrunk us, says one of your friends. Yep. I do it all the time. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it, you say. The portal turns on and glows a bright blue color. You fly straight through it and burst through the door of your shed. Ooh, you say. I forgot that the shed door might not be opened. My mom is going to be very upset. Don't worry says the spaceship. I will get it fixed. The spaceship sends out a robot that immediately starts fixing the shed door. Thanks, spaceship. You're the best. Now, let's go 
to the treehouse, you say. You fly high up into the air above the clouds. You fly for a long time over top of trees and mountains and lakes until you come to the mountain where you put the treehouse. On top of the mountain is a huge tree, about 60 feet wide or even bigger at the base. It shoots all the way up into the sky, almost reaching above the clouds. At the top of it is a huge tree house. You make the ship grow again to its full size and land it on top of the mountain. You and all of the dragons walk out, now your regular size again. Suddenly, you hear... Oh, what's going on? One of your friends says, what's that? It's just me, says the bear, coming out of the cave. Who are all these people, and what are these things? says the bear. Oh, don't worry, bear. These are just my dragons and my friends. How have you been? Oh, I've been pretty good, says the bear. All that stuff you made me in that food replicator, oh, that is so good. That is the best food I've ever had in my life. Oh, I better not have to share it with these guys. Oh, don't worry, you tell the bear. We'll just make another replicator for them. Spaceship, get on it. The spaceship sends robots out to build a replicator and some other important things for dinosaurs to live there. You and your friends put on your spacesuits. You press the button on your watch and the spacesuit folds out of your watch around your entire body, covering you in a spacesuit that looks more like armor. You think about flying and you fly up into the air. It's a very freeing feeling. You lead your friends all the way up to the top of the treehouse where the base is and bring them inside. Spaceship, can you make more beds for my friends? Yes, on it. Suddenly robots fly in and start constructing more beds for your friends. And Spaceship, what about like a command center sort of area where we can kind of look at what crimes are going on and figure out how to solve them. Great idea. I am on it. And Spaceship, why don't we create something that can go look for issues for us to solve, like maybe some little robots that fly around cities and different parts of the world and then report back if there's trouble we can help solve. Great idea. Would you like me to construct a portal at this site as well? That's a great idea, you say. And maybe you can create portals in other places too, just to make it easier for us to get to uh, different destinations. Yes, I can. Oh, 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 spaceship? Make sure they're big enough for dragons. Great point, says the spaceship. I will get on it. Thanks, spaceship. After a while, the spaceship has created, with the help of his robots, a whole bunch of beds, a command center, and a fleet of little tiny robots the size of flies that he sends off to different parts of the world. The robots will report back when there is trouble. That's great, spaceship, you say. I wonder what kind of trouble it'll find first. An alien invasion, robbers robbing a bank, maybe like some sort of crazy war we could help solve. Yeah, your friends say, that would be awesome. Beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. What's that? That is the alert, says the spaceship. What is it? What's going on? 
There is a friend at your school being bullied. A friend at our school being bullied? Well, it doesn't sound like the biggest problem in the world, but we may as well solve it. Dragon defenders, mount your dragons. You and your friends all jump on their dragons. The dragons start flapping their wings and you fly high up into the air. You fly above the clouds and again you fly over trees and lakes and mountains. Eventually you see your school in the distance. There it is, says one of your friends. You land just outside the school. You and your friends take off your armor and walk on to the schoolyard. Hey, you, what are you doing to our friend? Huh? says the bully. What are you going to do about it? Some of his friends pop up behind him. Yeah, kid, what are you going to do about it? What am I going to do about it, you say? Well, I'm not really going to do much about it. Well then, you better watch out. This isn't your problem, but I can give you problems if you want me to, says the bully. Well, I don't really want you to give me problems, you say, but I'm going to have to insist that you don't give him problems either. Him? What are you going to do about it? The bully walks up to you and grabs you by the shirt pulling you up towards him. Oh, what am I going to do about it? It's not really what I'm going to do about it, you say. It's what they're going to do about it. Them? Your friends? They don't really look like they'd be too much trouble for me, says the bully. Oh, those friends? No, not those friends. I mean, they might be a little bit of trouble for you, but I was thinking of these friends. Suddenly, all ten dragons jump up over the fence of the schoolyard and land in front of the school bully. His eyes go huge. One of the dragon blows a plume of fire up into the air. And that's when you see the bully's pants start to get wet. He got so scared that he peed his pants. Everybody starts laughing and pointing at the bully who peed his pants, and he runs away, very upset and incredibly scared about the possibly man-eating dragons that have arrived on the schoolyard. You and your friends put your spacesuits back on, jump on your dragons, and fly back to the treehouse. When you arrive, you all have a celebratory meal, give each other high fives, and then realize, well, that was all in a good day's work, but I think it's time for bed. One by one, you go to your beds, climb inside, turn off the lights, and close your eyes. Spaceship, put on some of that noise I like so much, you say. As you hear the noise starting to build, you notice if there's anywhere you're holding tension, and you gradually let it go. You let yourself sink down into the mattress, deeper and deeper, and you let yourself drift off to sleep.